it were a really difficult season to take, to be honest. And I came away from that disappointed more than anything with myself, um, having finished the season. But then the, the disappointing thing um, for me that weren't my fault after after that is because the damage were already been done. Like I sort of analysed the season and thought, right, well, I, I put a big part of it down to the slow start that I had and, and not being ready for, for pre-season. So I went away that summer and grafted, like the hardest I'd ever grafted in any off-season. And I was just like, right, I'm going to prove a point. Like I knew the fans had not taken to me. Um, I, I knew I had a, a, a hell of a lot to prove to, Sh to Sheffield United and the Sheffield United fans. So I, I'd gone away and thinking, right, I'm going to do that. Um, and the, the toughest thing to, to take from me was I literally just got a text over the summer saying you're on the transfer list. Um, uh, and that was sort of Wilder had taken over and I just got a text from him. That's all it, all it said. So I'm like, right. So then you start speaking to your agent and thinking, right, but pre-season won't we'll, we'll closing in. And it, and it was just a case of, well, you're going to have to just sit out and, and wait and see what other club, other options are there. So I thought, right, well, let me just try and change some opinions here. So I went back into training and, and unfortunately, um, Wild as a Sheffield United fan, which I, I mean, I don't know if that played a part, but it, I weren't changing his mind. There were, there were no, there were no changes in mind whatsoever. He he'd made his mind up right from the start. Or, or fortunately for me, initially, um, Dean Hammond was actually on his hit list more than I was. So while he was dealing with that for the first week or so, when went back into pre-season, everything were, were okay and, and just getting on as normal. But then he got D, Dean out of the picture, and and I must have been the next on the list because. Uh, pre-season tour came round. Um, I, was, I was the only one that just got left behind. Um, just got made to train with the kids, which I knew happened in the game. But when it's happening to you, when you're not a bad egg, you're not doing anything to disrupt anything. You're just wanting to work hard and better yourself. That again were a really tough thing to take. Um, and then I'm sort of uh, half and half training with the kids as and when. Um, and then... When the lads came back, I'm thinking, right, at least I've got someone to train with now. Things are still not not happening. A few things had happened while while the club were away. Um, and Oldham had come in for me, but at the time, Oldham was struggling financially. So I'm, I, I knew I knew a player that were there um, that I played with before, and he weren't getting paid. And I'm not in the best financial situation anyway myself. So I'm thinking, I can't go to a club that's not play, paying its players. But I think that sort of annoyed Wilder even more, to be honest, because he's wanting me out the door and I'm refusing I'm refusing deals. Um, so I, I think he was really, really annoyed coming back from um, pre-season tour that I was still knocking about the building, to be honest. Um, and for, for the following week, it was really difficult, to be honest, because I weren't even allowed on the grass, which is frowned upon. Um, to say the least, um, but again, it, it would just like I say, I, I just I, I would try my hardest to get out at this point as as well. But it, it had to be the right thing for me as well. Like that, that's the other thing that sort of fans don't necessarily see. It's like you're not just going to go to the first sort of the first club. Like I say, Oldham were the first one there, and I, I knew they were struggling. Like there were uncertainty there, and it just weren't from weren't for me. Um, so as I say, to go through all that, eventually, like I say, um, I did get, um, I did get out and I did go to Fleetwood. But um, but yeah, that that period after the summer, in particular, were were a really tough thing for me to take because the other thing was as well is I'd gone away and, and grafted all summer, and then I weren't part of any preseason games. I weren't part of preseason tour, so I, I fell behind again because I'm I'm just training with kids or. Or on my own at times again, and it had sort of gone back to where I didn't want to be the the, the season when I signed. So all the all the hard work sort of got undone because you, you, it's it's really really hard to, to kind of replicate the, the the games and the training that you're doing when you just sort of like I say whether you're doing it with kids or or whatever. It's it's just not the same as the first team stuff. So that that was a real. That was a real low point for me. Was like I say, finishing the season disappointed um, and and hard on myself about that. 
but then felt like I was sort of attacking it in the right way to, to kind of try and make amends and then just not to be given any any sort of shot that were, were quite tough, actually. That were, that were quite tough.